How's everybody doing? This is Zombie Stick, Nerd Card YouTube, with my second video for this set. Second to box. First box wasn't too bad. Cole and Nissa. So let's jump on into it. Yeah. All right, first rare is Prowling Sir Pulpard. It, it is the weirdest name. One colorless, two green. Prowling Sir Pulpard can't be countered. Creature spells you control can't be countered. It is a 4 3. Yeah, you got a full art mountain. Got a Dread Wanderer. Got a Glory Bound Initiate. One colorless, one white. You may exert Glory Bound. In I already read that one, didn't I? Plus one, plus three. Next pack. Uh, we have a rags uh, to riches. Uh, for those of you who didn't, haven't watched videos before, once I read off a of rare, I usually don't read it again. Another harsh mentor, a full art island. Try to keep the videos to a reasonable amount of time. Got a harvest season. Two colorless, one green. Search your library for up to X basic land cards where X is the number of tapped creatures you control and put those cards under the battlefield tapped and shuffle your library. We have a foil Sheffet monitor. Cascading Cataracts, Indestructible, tap and add one waste to your mana pool. Pay five colors and tap and add five mana of any combination of colors to your mana pool. I wonder if that land will see play in five color commander decks. I wonder. Got another Timmet. It makes four already. Got a full art zombie. I guess that's going to be the rare that I get a ton of. There's always one that I get like eight or nine of. Drake Haven. And uh, foil illusory wrappings. A full art mountain. And we have uh, Vizier, Visor, of Many Faces, to colorless, to blue. You may have Visor of Many Faces enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except if Visor of Many Faces was embalmed, the token has no mana cost. It's white, and it's a zombie in addition to its other types. Embalmed for three colorless and two blue. Next rare is Champion of Ronas, three colorless, one green. You may exert Champion of Ronas as it attacks. When you do, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. Three, three. 
another full art uh, zombie. And we have Bounty of the Luxa. Two colorless, one green, one blue. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, remove all flood counters from Bounty of the Luxa. If no counters were removed this way, put a flood counter on Bounty of the Luxa and draw a card. Otherwise, add one waste, one blue, and one green to your mana pool. Gideon's Intervention, Full Art Plains, and a Full Art Hippo. Dusk and Dawn is the next rare. Another bounty of the Luxa. Full art zombie. I'm taking it that all the non embalmed tokens are full art. That's what I'm thinking. Curator of Mysteries. Two colorless, two blue flying whenever you cycle or discard a card. Whenever you cycle or discard another card, scry one. And it says cycling one is a 4 4. Pretty good, pretty good. And we have a foil sacred cat, full art swamp. We have a fetid pools. Hmm. Haven. X and green instant haven deals X damage to each creature with flying earth X to red sorcery aftermath earth deals X damage to each creature without flying and then we have a foil insult and injury approach of the second sun foretold two colorless one blue at the beginning of your upkeep put a time counter on as foretold once each turn you may pay zero rather than pay the mana cost for a spell you cast with convert a mana cost x or less where x is the number of time counters on as foretold yeah full art forest as foretold i'm pretty sure you're gonna see some play Miseret's favor. Dispossess. Sandworm Convergence. Pyramid of the Pantheon. And we have a foil magma spray. Full art island. Glyph Keeper, Foil Trial of Zeal, and 
Hey, got another Ronas, the Indomitable. That's good, that's good. Flip card and it is cut. One colorless, one red sorcery. Cut deals four damage to target creature. And ribbons X to black sorcery. Aftermath each opponent loses X life. Hmm. Well, look at there. Got another Nissa. Hmm. Three Nisses. Three Nisses. But where is Gideon? Where is Liliana? Shadow of the Grave. One colorless, one black. Return to your hand all cards in your graveyard that you cycle or discard this turn. Failure and comply. A foil pitiless visor. A full art planes. This pack feels thicker than the other ones. But it's not. Pyramid of the Pantheon. Almost got excited there for a second. It felt a little thicker. Like maybe there was an extra card, like there was an invocation in it. Heart Piercer Manticore, two colorless, two red. When Heart Piercer Manticore enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice another creature. When you do, Heart Piercer Manticore deals damage equal to that creature's power to target creature or player. And it has Embalm for five colorless and one red, and it is a four, three. Oracle's Vault, four colorless. Pay two colorless and tap, exile the top card of your library until the end of the turn. You may play that card, put a brick counter on Oracle's Vault. Tap, exile the top card of your library until the end of the turn. You may play that card without paying its mana cost. Activate this ability only if there are three or more brick counters on Oracle's Vault. We got three packs left. Let's see what we pull. Can we pull something? Cruel Reality. Five colorless to black. Enchant player. At the beginning of Enchanted Player's upkeep, that player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. If that player can't, he or she loses five life. It's kind of ridiculous. Got a full art swamp. I can definitely see that going into a commander deck or two. Not too many people have that much enchantment removal. Channeler Initiate. Last pack. And we have a Scattered Groves. Uh, tap for green or white in a Cycling 2. And that will conclude the second box. Uh, as always, thanks to Bluegrass Magic for sponsoring the channel and Nerd Car for letting me make videos for his channel. I do believe there will be a one pack giveaway with this video. Uh, look in the uh, link description and so forth for that. Uh, subscribe, like, share, comment. I guess we'll be coming back here shortly with box number three. Y'all have a uh, wonderful day.